Hi, my name is Craig Moss. I'm a director at the Digital Supply Chain Institute. We've been here at SAP headquarters with companies from around the world really trying to analyze and look at some of the challenges that they face and to look at a vision for the future. What is the supply chain going to look like in three to five years? It's going to be customer centric. It's going to focus on customer happiness. It's going to have all the internal silos broken down. It's going to involve suppliers and customers and tier two suppliers and customers, customers, all of this coming together to collaborate, to make the ultimate experience for the customer's happiness. So people have asked us, members have asked us, non-members of the Institute have asked us, so what are you doing that's of value? What, what, well, how cutting edge is it? Why should I be paying attention to what you're doing? And we actually ask them, tell us the most challenging issues you have. Tell us the things that you're most excited about. What are the things, the game changers, you see in the marketplace? Digital transformation is a very interesting concept. A lot of people think it's all about digitizing whatever you do today, but no. Actually, it's about making your process far different, far better, far more direct, far more intimate, far more close to your customer. And when you do that right, and you digitize it, and it becomes agile, fast, quick, and flexible, you really have something very special. For us, the great thing is to get onto the scene with the big guys. And uh, what Digital Supply Chain Institute can give organizations the size as we are is relevance to sit at the table with the big corporates and then to have an open floor for a dialogue, understanding, exchange, and maybe future you know, uh, connections in a sense of doing and trying joint projects. While every single supply chain professional loves the physical movement, the orchestration, the symphony of the goods, we do see that in the digital world it can get very siloed, it can get very choppy, the data is not there. But once we are able to actually digitalize it, create a twin that follows the entire supply chain from design to manufacturing to logistics, and finally to actually monitor that, that product in its natural environment in the customer's hands, feed back the engineer with what can be done better and how it can be next, this loop can orchestrate digitally the same as physically. And only then can we truly unlock the data and we can go from making processes that generate data to data that then gets unlocked and can give customers additional value within the overall supply chain and improve ultimately the customer's experience with that supply chain. So by bringing together the small enterprise that has agility but maybe not reach in a physical sense with a larger enterprise that may have reach from a physical standpoint but not the agility from a digital standpoint, we're finding a tremendous spark that develops between these two constituencies. Uh, we are now uh, an international company, as I said before, with operations all over the world. And uh, we are playing the big leagues. And in order to play better, we need to know what other companies are doing. We know that there are companies that are much more developed than we are in terms of digitalization. And having the opportunity of talking to them, of sharing experience, uh, it can uh, be of a big help for us. It's actually rare that you get the CIOs, the CTOs, and in some cases the CEOs of companies that are at the very leading edge of dealing with digital supply chain issues. And you can get them all in the same room together for a significant amount of time where magic occurs, if you will, with people sharing ideas, problems, solutions to problems, insights, that uh, you know you just couldn't buy them at any price anywhere. Considering that uh, blockchain is a really new technology and that we do have a lot of use cases for blockchain, but not very much use cases who uh, had the chance to do an impact on scale. You need a framework. You need a uh, you need a perspective on what's important corporate wise, not just within uh, within individual silos. And the uh, algorithm console helps you take advantage of uh, through governance of uh, of some of the transformational tools that are uh, are being developed and put in, and being put in place within your organization whether you're aware of them or not so it gives you that awareness it enables you to uh, to prioritize those and it provides a governance framework that uh, that transcends business units 
And the great thing is that uh, the organization as Digital Supply Chain Institute is, they keep you constantly engaged. So it's not just a one-shot opportunity where you go to a forum and you know everything ends once we go home, but the conversation is ongoing. So at this executive leadership forum, one of the areas we covered was a, a digital supply chain talent model. Uh, really trying to help organizations think through how they could attract and acquire digital supply chain talent, how to build and develop that talent, and then how to really integrate it into the organization so that we can achieve better performance and drive those digital strategies. We're not for profit. We don't have the same motivation. We're trying to do something that makes a difference for the business. So number one, we're objective, we're fact-based, we're focused on results. Uh, number two, the people in this institute have both been consultants as well as operating managers, people who've run things. So it's a great blend of knowledge that we can bring that, frankly, a lot of firms cannot. So it's a combination of basic research, telling the truth, and applied knowledge that makes a big difference to companies. For me, one of the key takeaways on that is not really on how we get the data scientists in the areas of supply chain, but how we can make really a team of uh, people that make this digital uh, supply chain work. Coming out of this event, we're going to be working with companies to help them to accelerate their transformation to a more digital supply chain. We'll help them to break down those internal silos, to be able to pull in data from suppliers and customers into an integrated uh, format inside their company, where they're able to really use algorithms to understand consumer behavior, to better understand their customer, and ultimately to pull it all together to create the happiest customers that they can.